Hello Grade Threes. So for the next two weeks, we will be continuing with our theme. Um, as you know, in week one, A and B and week two, we focused on plants. And now we will just be doing another part about plants. We'll be focusing on trees specifically. So you will see that um, this topic is going to be part of this week and next week. So week three and week four. And you will see on the slides at the top, if it says week three, then it's stuff that you need to um, watch and look at this week and, and complete this week. Um, everything is on the video and the PowerPoint. You don't have to do anything. It's just little activities and information. So if it says week three, it needs to be completed this week. And if it says week four, you can then have a look at it next week. Um, so the PowerPoint or the video is divided into the two weeks. Um, we hope you have a lot of fun with this theme as well, and we hope you learn something new. So for this week, we will be focusing on what is a tree, and then um, in the next two slides, we will have an activity with some answers to, um, as well to help you. So that's all we're going to be focusing on for this week, and um, yeah, let's get started. So what is a tree? The top part of a tree, um, which includes the branches, the twigs and leaves, is called the crown. So basically the whole top of the tree um, where we have the leaves or the fruits and the flowers and things like that, that is all called the crown. And then you've got the base and that basically is the trunk of the tree and that would obviously include the bark which is on the outside to protect the wood inside and then the actual wood on the inside of the tree. That would all be um, part of the base of the tree. And then below the ground are the roots, and they spread out to look for water and nutrients in the ground to feed the tree. The roots also act as an anchor and hold the tree firmly in place. So the roots of a tree are exactly the same um, as the roots of a plant in that they also act like straws that suck up water from the ground, and all the minerals and nutrients in the soil, the good stuff, to help the tree grow. And the roots also act like an anchor. So if you think of a ship, when they let the anchor down, it makes sure that the ship doesn't drift around and move around. So the, the roots in the soil also um, act like that. They basically dig deep into the soil and they make sure that the tree stays in place, that it doesn't move or fall over if there's wind and things like that. Okay, so for this activity, you'll see there's a diagram, like a drawing of the tree, and it says that we need to name the parts of the tree. So you will see in the top, by the branches and the leaves there, there's like a little um, white space. Then you would need to fill in a word, and you can see at the bottom there, there's a block with words in, like a word bank. So you don't have to print this or draw this. If you want to draw it, you're welcome to, but it's not necessary. What you can maybe do is you can then... Um, on your whiteboard, put little numbers for yourself for these different parts of the picture, and then you can write the word at that number, and then you can check it on the next slide, or if you're in the video, you can just pause, and um, you can then check if you got the right answers in the right places. So you can see then for the top of the tree, there's a little space in the middle there that needs to be filled in, and then there's another little line pointing at something in the top of the tree, and another one here on the side, and then two from the middle, and then two at the bottom of the picture. So you only use the words at the bottom once, and each one must then be filled in at one of the spaces. All right, so I'm sure you've completed the activity, and now we can quickly have a look at which words belonged where. So inside the tree, where the branches and the twigs and the leaves are, we know that as the crown, then we've got the leaves, a branch, um, the bark and the trunk. But you could have swapped the bark and the trunk because they're both pointing at the base, the middle part. So if you said the trunk and then the bark, that's fine. As long as you know that that part there is the base of the tree is called the trunk and then it's covered by bark. So that's what's important there. And then we've got the ground and we've got the roots. 
All right, so this week we'll be focusing on some interesting information about trees, and we'll be focusing on three different trees. Um, each slide or each part of this video will then have some interesting information with some pictures, and then I will explain to you what it's all about. So the first one we're looking at is the aloe tree. Now the aloe tree, you can see there's a picture there at the bottom. Um, it looks actually more like a type of succulent plant. It doesn't really look like a tree, um, but they grow all over in South Africa and they have so many uses and they're really um, amazing plants, especially for using in medicine. But um, the aloe tree, which is called choji by the indigenous people, is also known as the quiver tree because the sand people used to hollow out its tubular branches to make quivers for their arrows. So if you look at the picture, you'll see it, like, it looks actually like leaves more than branches, but they're these sharp pointy green things that point out of the aloe. And basically they would break those off and they would hollow them out. That means they would, they would scrape everything out of the inside so that they were empty and it would only be the outside. And then they would use them as the quivers for the arrows. So you can see there's a picture of the type of arrows that they used to use. And then I've put a picture of the aloe vera gel because that is something that is used so often in many different products. Um, is the, the inside that part, that like sticky gooey part of the aloe plant. So um, that part can be used in food. It, it, they use it to make aloe water to drink. Um, it's used in many different types of medicines as a very natural product. It can be used in creams, beauty products. It has so, so many uses and it's so good for your skin. It's very healthy. Um, so it's used in a lot of medicine. So it's one of our very important resources um, for medis medicine purposes. The next tree we'll be looking at is the baobab tree. Now it is referred to as an upside down tree because there are no leaves on the branches so it almost looks like the tree is upside down like it's growing with the roots out the top and then the trunk and then the tree under the ground at the bottom so it looks like it's actually growing the wrong way because the roots are up in the sky these trees can live for thousands of years the oldest one in South Africa, the Sunland Boabab in the Limpopo province, is 6,000 years old. As these trees grow very old, their trunks start to hollow out on the inside. So if you think about it, um, that tree has been around for 6,000 years. That's a very, very long time. And basically what happens is um, inside the trunk, if you have to look inside, it gets hollowed out, it means it starts to go empty, it like dries up on the inside, and then there's no, there's nothing inside. So it wouldn't have the growth rings we learned about um, that we can see inside of the tree. So yeah, that's something really interesting about the baobab. All right, then the last tree we will be looking at is the yellow wood tree. Now the yellow wood tree is the largest tree in South Africa, and it's also our national tree. The highest yellowwood tree ever recorded was 40 meters high. The national tree is found from Table Mountain along the southern and eastern Cape Coast, in the ravines of the Drakensberg, up to the Sopfansberg and the Bloberg in Limpopo. So they're found in quite a few places in South Africa, and they are very, very big. So you'll see there in the picture on the left, that is a yellowwood tree that's growing up above all those other trees that are really tall in a valley. And you can see how much taller they are. So they really grow up, grow up to be very, very high, uh, tall trees. And um, you'll see in the other picture as well, someone took a photo standing at the bottom of the tree looking up and you can see how high that is. And 40 meters is very, very high um, for a tree to be growing. So yeah, these are national tree national trees so in other words um, we have specific things that we consider to be a national thing in our country so you have like our national bird which is the blue crane 
and then you've got our national tree, which is the yellowwood tree. Um, so it's basically special things, animals or plants or whatever, that are um, part of um, our national history and part of our country. Um, and yeah, that is basically all of our trees for this week. Um, we hope you have a lot of fun learning about trees and you're welcome to share fun facts with your teacher in class as well if you do any research about trees yourself or you know something interesting if you have pictures of any of these trees or other trees maybe you've seen when you've gone on holiday or some fun facts you have to share you're welcome to bring them along to class as well and then um, please remember to work in your plant booklet um, to complete some of the plant information from week one and two and then obviously some of the tree information from week three and four we will be doing these in class as well but you're most welcome to start um, reading through the information answering some of the questions and doing some of the fun activities about these topics at home in your booklets